Hello and welcome to Lightworks. In this tutorial we're going to have a look at installing Boris FX third party plugins. We're going to install Boris FX for filters and transitions and Boris Graffiti for vector based titling. Adding these plugins to Lightworks will further enhance your effects suite, allowing you to elevate your visual effects to a stunning new level. Please also note that to use third party plugins with Lightworks you will need a pro license. The installers that are available to download from Boris FX are 32-bit and 64-bit. The 32-bit plugin installers will need to be used with the Lightworks 32-bit version. If you'd like to use the 64-bit Boris plugin installers, you'll need to use those with the Lightworks 64-bit version to enjoy the extended memory addressing that the 64-bit architecture delivers. So here we have Boris FX 10 32-bit, Boris Graffiti version 605 32-bit and currently available is the Graffiti version 6, 64-bit version. The Boris FX 10, 64-bit installer will follow soon. Let's get going and we're going to start off by installing Boris FX. Accept the license agreement. Fill in the customer information form. Hit next. I'm going to go for a custom installation so you can see how the plugin is applied to Lightworks. The standalone keyframer and the plugin for Lightworks are detected and marked as ready for installation. Press next. And that's done. Okay, over to Lightworks. Let's check out the new effects plugins. Launch the effects panel from your timeline effects button. Go to the plugin category. And now we've got Boris effects, filter and transitions. I've got two shots on my timeline, the snowboarder and some end credits I've made. What we're going to do is drop in a lens flare over the snowboarder and then we'll have a blur transition straight through this section here to the end title. First of all the snowboarder, take the filter, drag and drop to the segment, the effects panel opens we're going to launch Boris software externally and the effects interface opens. We've got a composition window here, timeline at the bottom, the tracks sent from Lightworks bottom left and the filter set up here on the left. OK, I'm going to go straight to the video track, right click, new filter, open GL, Boris continuum, lens flare advanced. I know the lens flare I want is yellow burst. What we're going to do, position the sun just over here on the left. I'm going to quickly go through and keyframe the position so I can try and keep it roughly the same height from the horizon here through the shot. So we go through and do that about every second. When you're happy, just go down to the bottom right of the Boris interface and press the apply button. Next thing to do is drop a transition between the snowboarder shot and the end title. Just going to drag and drop that to the cut point. Same process as before, launch the transition. Now we've got our two sides of the transition input, video one, video two. I'm going to go down to my transition section, go to my blur dissolves, select one of these, just hit play on the preview, just check some out. So it's kind of a blur and a burnout, and a crossfade through to the title graphics. That's the kind of thing we want. So I'm just going to double click that to apply it. Okay, that's all done. We hit the apply button. Now we transition through all of that. So the title graphic. You will get previews in real time from your GPU, but these types of effects are very GPU intensive. For third party work, you need to render your effects. I'm going to quickly render the filter in the transition. Rendering on the timeline is a pro option. Press the render button under the advanced section. I'm going to use my source as the current effect. Destination media space. Rendering format. I'm going to go with MXF container. Avid DNX. DNX codex an excellent quality rendering format. It's a one off license payment and it's available from the Lightworks shop. So let's start that. Background task begins and we can monitor the rendering progress up here in the background. Now actually 
while that's going on, I'm just going to jump to my wipe, open the render panel again, render the current effect with all the same settings, hit start. Both of those render jobs can complete, and of course you're free to carry on working at this stage. Rendering is complete. Let's give it a run through. And my original shots have now been replaced with render files here and here. Great, so that's done. Right, let's get Boris Graffiti installed and add some vector titling over the top of all of that. As before with Boris FX, we've got the standalone graffiti keyframer and the graffiti plugin for Lightworks. Let's get the 64 bit Boris Graffiti version installed. It's the same process. And there you can see, this time round, the only host available is Lightworks, so you can't go wrong. And we're done. Just a quick note, if you go to your Documents, Lightworks folder, if you go to the Plugins folder, you'll now see Plugin Entries for those two bits of software we've just installed, with the extra 64-bit entry there. OK, back to Lightworks. Now we've got our graffiti filter in our plugin section. I'm just going to drop that on the snowboarder shot. We just need to put his name in a title strap on that. Hit launch from the effects panel. Similar layout to Boris FX, composition window, timeline, edit parameters, text entry. I'm going to go straight for my library browser. Go to my lower third section. I choose this one. Double click to apply. Back to the composite window. Click on my text track, enter the text, change the typeface, not this name in italic, okay, and we just hit apply. So that's going to come in at one second, just going to make a quick cut on the timeline, remove the title before that. Go forward, level that for three seconds, make another cut, just remove that afterwards. 12 frame fade at the front, and at the end, 12 frame dissolve out. Again, if I hit play, do need to render that. It's playing well anyway, but we do need to render it really. So I'm just going to go mark it in, start the fade here, step forward to the out point here, bring up my render panel. Now I'm going to render just that mark section, same settings as before. That's complete. Run it through. And we're done. So we hope you enjoy working with Boris plugins. Thanks for watching.